Now, we're not seeing any snow here in the metro, but we are certainly dealing with colder temperatures. And wind. Chief Meteorologist Mike Nelson. Boy, that is a dramatic picture. That was beautiful. Beautiful. Yeah, it looked really beautiful about 20 minutes ago with the sunset. I've got a little sample All right. coming up here. Let's take a little tour through some of our Colorado skies this afternoon. This was about uh, 3 o'clock up in Avon. Just scattered clouds over the Beaver Creek ski area. Very, very pretty. This was the same time up at Loveland ski area, and this is what it looked like. I queued the train just at the right time out here in Akron, but this still you can see the camera bouncing around just a little bit. Mentioned the beautiful sunset. This is what we had in the front range area. Denver, those high clouds were highlighted by the setting sun, made for a real pretty scene about 20 minutes ago. Partly cloudy skies as we enter the evening, and it's going to be a cold evening out there because it was a cold day today. High today was 35 after starting at 15, 70 and 18 below are the extremes and 44 and 18 are the averages. Currently it's 32 at the airport, 35 degrees downtown. The barometer is at 29.78 falling slightly. Winds are gentle in the Denver area just from the south southwest at 5. 31 degrees at 7 p.m., 27 by 9 p.m. and 22 by 11 p.m. The reason it's still windy across much of the high plains is this intense low pressure system is still swirling around as it slowly moves toward the northeast. Another round of severe weather. They had a tornado touchdown in downtown New Orleans this afternoon and there was quite a bit of damage. Severe thunderstorms continue ahead of the cold front. Behind it, this weak low pressure system is going to come down across Idaho and move closer to Colorado and it will sponsor some snow showers. Northwest Colorado by morning. The rest of the state is just cold and very cold. Five at Lyman, 10 in Denver, three below zero Alamosa and Gunnison by morning. Single digits in the mountains, teens and some low 20s over the metro. Cold morning. By midday, some snow showers increasing in the mountains, windy and cold again on the plains. And by later in the day, there will actually be some snow showers moving into Jefferson County and Douglas County. So it's not going to be a big deal, but there could be some minor light snow tomorrow afternoon, about two to four inches expected in the mountains. Cold tomorrow, just upper 20s to low 30s and just in the teens in the mountains. So a chilly day tomorrow and get used to that. Snow showers tomorrow, windy and cold. That big storm is still up over Wisconsin even by Friday and over the UP of Michigan by Saturday. We're dry and cold and we'll get slightly milder on Sunday. This next little storm coming in nowhere near as powerful as the other one, but I think it'll crank up the winds for us early next week. Here is the seven day mountain snow tomorrow, maybe a flurry western suburbs and down into Douglas County. 32 seven Friday morning, 28 in the afternoon, 35 Saturday, 40 on Sunday. And then next week, she's kind of partly to mostly cloudy, windy at times and still cold teens at night, 30s during the day.